What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And yes, guys, we are back with another video today. It is Saturday, and guys, we are just I'm just going to show you who I picked up in a market crash, who you guys should pick up. The market is still pretty crashed, and today I'm just going to, like, I'm picking up a bunch of these players. I'm going to show you who I got, what to do, how to make stubs, and all that good stuff. And we're just going to start off, we're just going to pretty much do, like, a little market overview and like who you should pick up how to make stubs right now and what to do so i have 162k stubs as you can see my stubs are way down and this is what i did so when the market crashed and it's still pretty crashed i bought a bunch of these players to make a ton of stubs off in the future so right now i got two out two base i got them both for 24k he's at 28k sunday monday you're gonna see out two raise up. and also i'm sorry before i get into it Guys, be sure to drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 10k. Let's get this vid to 80 likes for a chance of 10k. Someone got some random guy will get a 10k. So yeah. Here it is. Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve, I got him for 24k. I'm gonna make stubs off him. I can make stubs off him now, but not a lot of stubs. I'm gonna wait till I would say Sunday, Monday to sell all these cards. I do it every week. Pretty much every week. I usually pick up 87 overalls, 88 overalls, and I flip them. So I got buys. I got two buys for 33k at 38k. Right there, I can make stubs. I'm gonna wait till he goes to 40, 45k around Monday, maybe Sunday. So yeah, that's what I usually do to make my stubs off the market crash. Also, like I said, I, I said Okuna was gonna go down about 5k, and let's see what he's at. I did see him at 5k. Let's see if he's still there. We're going to type in Okuna, and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so Okuna's at 4,500. This is probably your best bet on to make investments right now. The market's cheap. This is the best time you want to make investments, Friday, Saturday, whatever. You need to make your investments now. This is the best time. You'll see your cars at the cheapest value right now. And Okuna's cheap, which is a perfect investment. Trevor Story, I'm pretty sure, is at 2K. And also... If you guys can pick up as many Trey Turners as possible, think about it. He's one overall away from Diamond. It's Trey Turner. Yeah, he does have injury problems. But if he stays healthy and he goes Diamond, you know how many stubs we're going to make at 1K? He's at 1K stubs. Why not pick up 500? If he goes Diamond, first of all, not only if he goes Diamond, he's going to be usable on Diamond. He's actually a beast, bro. His goal, his goal card is one of my favorite players in the game. He's so budget. He's a beast. And I, I just love him. He's a must cop in my opinion. Uh, so Trevor Story, another good player to invest in right now. You're gonna make stubs off him regardless with the market crash. So yes, I'll be posting. A t I'll try to get more Trevor Stories. I already have 17. As you can see, we get more Trey Turners as the day go on. We're gonna keep trying to grind the auction, try to get a bunch of investments. Kirby Yates went up to 1500. I five of him. Granky did not go up in overall. Like it's just such disrespect that they did not give this guy an upgrade. An upgrade. Uh, an upgrade. Just because Zach Granke has been pitching phenomenal. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty much doing to make stubs. Right now to make stubs, everybody's so cheap investment-wise. Diamonds are cheap. Everything's cheap. And also, I ha I just pulled Machado on my pack opening. I'm holding on to him just because I think he's going to go up in overall. And also, I will be buying another Machado because 43k is way too cheap. So this is pretty much how I'm going to make all my stubs. I'm going to show you how much I made uh, probably on Monday's video. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just see. We got Correa. People were thinking Correa was going to get upgraded. I was like, bro, Correa's not getting upgraded. He's not doing good. Okay, another guy you guys need to invest in is Brad Hand. Brad Hand is a top closer. He's 15 for 15 on saves. Still hasn't received any upgrades. I really think it's very disrespectful to the man himself. Like, he has got... The fact that his edge is down is BS, number one. He hasn't get, he's literally been doing absolutely amazing. And like I just don't understand how he's getting dissed like this. It's just not fair to me. He's playing amazing. He's literally a gem. He pitches a gem every time he goes up. Wilson Contreras got great. Like, it's just disrespect in my opinion. You guys need to get Brad Hand. I'm gonna go over the 80 overalls and just check on if I should invest in anyone. And also, I'm gonna check Josh Bell. I don't think I have any Josh Bells. I wanna just check his price. Josh Bell. 1300 stubs okay so like i said i told you guys to sell him before he turns gold because he was 1900 stubs if you listen to me you're lit if you did it that sucks because you lost a thousand stubs he was i was like yo 
Guys, if he's 2,000 stubs, there's no way he's going up more. Just sell him. And like I said, his price went down 1,000 stubs. If you listen to me, you're lit. You made max stubs. You can pick him up again if you want. Honestly, bro, I think he goes down this year if he keeps it up at least. Um, Gary Sanchez did go gold. I did not talk about him. Is he worth investing in? Honestly, bro, I think he is. Especially just because, like, he's a great hitter. He's a very good catcher. Good fielder. So, like, I think he could go dime this year, in my opinion. Glaber Torres, bro. 1K. Seeing Glaber Torres at goal is awesome. I'm a fan of him, even though I hate the Yankees. I'm a big fan of Glaber. Carl Santana going gold. We saw that coming. I just got that Machado. I'll probably be investing another in another Machado. Machado right now is probably one of the top players you want to invest in. At 43K, he's probably going to go up to 50K, maybe 55K by Sunday. You're going to make a ton of stubs. And it's like almost guaranteed. It happens every single week as the markets crash. His price is at like 50K plus this whole entire week. And also, I want to check Hunter Dozier. The fact that he didn't get an upgrade is disrespectful. He's at 155 stubs. I say he goes silver soon. I will be picking up more. As you can see right now, this is the best time to buy investments. Any silvers that you think are going to go gold next roster update. This is perfect, perfect timing. Jose Abreu at 450 stubs is a snag. If he goes gold, you make 500 a pop clean off each. So just think about that for one second. Simply posting a freaking buy now for Mr. Jose Abreu and making a ton of stubs is that simple. Especially like all the silvers that are 79 are going for around 500, 400 stubs, which is kind of crazy. And the fact that Murphy won gold is retarded, but I don't know how they could ever do that. Brad Peacock, I think he might go gold. Yo, if he goes gold and you're watching this, I'm investing probably like 10 of him, bro. If he goes gold, I'm going to make over 600 stubs clean every single Peacock that I get. So right now, I suggest you guys go buy some Peacocks. Go play some buy orders. Get as many investments as you can until Monday, Sunday. And we'll make a lot of, a lot of stubs, as you can see. If you check out my old vids, like uh, market crash vids, all that stuff, uh, aftermath of the market crash vids, I'm pretty sure the one coming up is either episode four or five. I have to look into that. But yeah, guys, it's pretty much, it was like, it's usually a series that I just make stubs off. And right now, I should be making a ton of stubs off this market crash. I'm pretty sure already I have about 20K made easily. And yeah, stay tuned for that video. I believe Monday, we're just going to keep going through a bunch of players on who to invest in right now how to make stubs and a lot of bronzes if you know if you have like any bronzes like you think some bronze cards are gonna do really good i would go ahead and invest in them now they're at its cheapest point every friday i once again i invest in every single player i think is doing good it's just a, simply the best time to invest in players and honestly right now i don't see okay bro hunter pence for 50 subs i have four Hunter Pence is literally playing like an all-star right now. He's literally 36 and he's playing like a savvy ass vet. And I have so much respect for him. I think he's worth an investment at 50 stubs. Uh, we got Zach Eflin. Honestly, yo. What I would recommend doing, let's just look at some other diamonds. Um, hmm. So Jankal's at 17K. Strasburg's at 9K. Chris Bryant at 19k. That is a perfect, perfect, perfect deal. And if that one, hopefully someone buys that out. Ah, uh, you got overcut. Okay. So I will definitely be buying this Chris Bryant. I really think he goes to an 86 soon. 19999. His price will definitely be risen. I literally invest in him almost every single week. And also, I haven't been this broken stubs in a while. It's kind of depressing. But yeah, I had to make as many investments as possible to make a ton of stubs. And Josh Hatter at 26k, do not invest in him. So pretty much what I'm showing you guys is like the players to invest in and what not to invest in. So let's see. JD Martinez at 17k is a pretty good investment. I will definitely be investing in that. Yes. And we got some paddocks. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm making a ton of investments. I'm gonna make a ton of stubs, and this is what I think you guys should be doing. Whoever I'm investing in, just make sure you get the right price on the investment. And just follow these follow these like rules, I guess you could say. You make a ton of stubs if you just listen to your boy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, if you didn't see my pack opening watch out, it was lit. And that's all I got for you today. But listen to your boy Bucks to make stubs. Drop the sub and peace. Hey,